She was born in Wales, grew up in Australia, and when she was 12, won a Haley Mills Lookalike contest. Her name, Olivia Newton-John, and we'll be talking with her next Sunday night on the KYA Special of the Week. When I was 15, I was singing for fun, really, but it used to just distract me from my schoolwork, because I used to sing with a couple of girlfriends. We used to go to trad jazz clubs, which were the rage when I was about 15, and get booed off the stage, but we still kept going. Maybe I hang around here. Don't miss a visit with Olivia Newton-John next Sunday night on the special of the week, 1260 KYA. Sunday night at 7. This is Robert W. Morgan, inviting you to join me and the legendary Neil Sedaka. Sunday night at 7 on CBS FM. The captain and two. Barry Manilow. Chicago. Jefferson Starship. Neil Sedaka. Olivia Newton-John. America. Neil Sedaka. Lee Woodman. The Robert W. Morgan special of the week. Sunday nights at 6 on Music Radio WBT. I was looking at all the lights. America, featured Sunday right after the Chiefs-Denver game on the special of the week, exclusively on KCMO. Stevie Wonder, coming up right here on the special of the week. Robert W. Morgan and Stevie Wonder, next Sunday morning at 9. Hi. Hi. I'm... Hi. This is Robert W. Morgan, inviting you to join... America. Jefferson Starship. Chicago. The Captain. And Tennille. Barry Manilow. Barry who? I'm Glenn Campbell. I've been walking these streets so long, like a rhinestone cowboy. Miracle. Miracle. A true blue rabbit I'm Robert W. Morgan, our special of the week. Saturday night, 9 p.m. on The Rock. Be listening to Big D Sunday nights at 6.30 for the Robert W. Morgan Special of the Week. Brought to you in part by Music World, Meriden and Enfield Squares. Memories Like the corners of my mind. Success, what's it all about? This is Robert W. Morgan. For our series of radio specials, we asked 13 of the most successful acts in contemporary music that very question. How they arrived at their multi-million dollar success, how they hang on to it, and maybe most important, what does all that money and power mean to them? And is it really worth it? Hi, this is the captain. And Tennille will be with Robert W. Morgan on this week's Special of the Week. This week, the Robert W. Morgan Special of the Week features me. I'm Barry Manilow. I hope you'll join us. Hi, this is Jim Seals of Seals and Crofts. I'm Lee Lockney with Chicago. This is Grace Slick. This is Jerry Beckley of America. Hi, I'm Glenn Campbell. Folks, this is John Wayne. I'm Gladys Knight. Hi, this is Olivia Newton-John, and I'd like to invite you to join Robert W. Morgan and me on the Special of the Week. I hope you'll join me along with Barry Manilow. Manilow, The Captain and Tennille, America, Helen Reddy, Chicago, Glenn Campbell, Jefferson Starship, Seals and Crofts, Fleetwood Mac, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Olivia Newton-John, Stevie Wonder, and Neil Sedaka for 13 superstar audio profiles we call the Special of the Week. And now let me play a few choice moments we've picked from several of the 13 specials. On the very day he told his family about his dream, Neil was to write a song that would change his life forever. I remember my mother was ironing. This is the day that I told her that I wasn't going to school. And I sat at the piano and I said, this is it, Neil. Either you're going to do it or you're not. When we finally decided, yes, we are getting married, his manager at the time decided that teenage idols, quote unquote, do not get married. I don't know what they do, but they don't get married. So. The wedding had to be a secret. The marriage had to be a secret. And for the first two years of our married life, I traveled as Neil's sister, cousin, aunt, grandmother. And it's embarrassing to travel as a maiden aunt when you're eight months pregnant. My passport was in my maiden name. And we checked into hotels in foreign countries. And I felt that was traumatizing. I was conditioned that when Neil was mobbed by the fans, so to speak, I had to stand six steps to the back. I really feel for Prince Philip. Don't you hear me? Olivia may be very young, but she's learned some things that some people never absorb. 
even in a lifetime. You know, I probably had dreams, but I'd never admit them to anybody else. Ambition always sounded like a dirty word somehow. Helen said that, and it's true. It was, if you're ambitious, it was always like a put-down. Well, it isn't really at all. It just means you've got some goals. I think when I started having success, that's when my ambition got stronger in that I wanted to be worthy of the success. And I have not changed at all. Still that same skinny kid that grew up in Brooklyn and went into the world. But with this, the album covers and the records and the television, that is not me. That is this thing that I put together, you know, that I hope is coming across as a real live human being, you know, because I don't know how to act. So it's not as, as I'm not acting, you know, but um, but all, all these things that I've been involved with are so manufactured. The records are a piece of a piece of plastic. It's a vinyl thing, you know. So that's not me, you know. Maybe it has my voice on it, but it's not me. And the, the thing on the tube, you know, is it's got a star filter on it. So therefore, I don't walk around with a star filter. Mm -hmm. 